train glutes, we're looking to train core, grip strength, single leg stability. Give this one a whirl. It'll be a suitcase deadlift, so regular deadlift pattern, just moving the load over to one side. So that's gonna ask your trunk and everything to stabilize as we're going about this movement. I would even go a little bit more narrow, being that we are going off to the side. So hip shooting back, soft bend in the knees, bracing the core, all that fun stuff. Check those boxes. And then as we stand up, chest is raising up, hips are shooting forward, big squeeze at the top. And then the IL SL stance, that is ipsilateral single leg stance. So ipsilateral meaning same side, say it's on the right side. Right leg is gonna stay on the ground, and the left leg is gonna come up. Why are we doing that? Just a little bit more as far as hip stabilization. So if the right side for the suitcase deadlift, that's gonna be taxing that right leg just a little bit more. Now moving into that single leg stance, now we're really asking those abductors, adductors, horn everything just to balance, really stabilize up on top. So you're just hammering at home as far as strength and stability on this movement. And you are gonna get a little bit more core so you're getting the obliques with the suitcase and then when you go in that single leg stance obliques and a little bit of rectus abdominis going on with the knee raise. The final one definitely tests any imbalances from side to side. What we're looking for here especially with the single leg stance as soon as we go into that if we are buckling like crazy on one side or if that butt is shooting out to the side that's just gonna be a red flag immediately that you're so, something's weak either your abductors or adductors it'll just be like a little check engine light going on if you do feel your hips wavering a little bit so suitcase deadlift single leg stance.